Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. What's going on, guys? Trey is coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today, for you guys, what we are going to get into is the newest region added to Global Brave Frontier and Quest Mode called uh, Bayorg, is what we're going to call it. Alright, so what we're going to get into is the quest boss of this region. The mission is called Indestructible Arms, 25 energy, 12 battles. As you wander around the silent castle, you hear a strange sound echo through its halls. It seems like Bayorg is on its way to you after all, alright? So uh, as you go through this region, you'll find some interesting story, alright? Some interesting background story. But uh, what we're going to get into today is just uh, strictly taking out this boss. All right, so uh, let's let's use an art frame. Why the heck not, huh? Why not do it? Just the max one. It looks max to me. Looking good, JP. Shout out to JP for the boss hog art. All right, so this is the squad we're going with. All right, this is my questing squad. Just general questing squad. I basically use them to go through all quest missions all the time. All right, and they get the job done. All right. But I'm um, going to let you guys know up front, this is one mission I highly doubt you will be auto-battling, alright? Um, it's not really worth it to auto-battle this mission anyway, um, because it, while it is worth more experience than the last quest boss mission is, um, it's much more difficult, probably near impossible to auto-battle it, alright? So, uh, not recommended, um, you know they got the double experience for quest mode going on right now. I do not recommend you try to do this mission for uh, leveling purposes. All right, it is so not worth it. <laughs> it is so not worth it. All right, so uh, otherwise, um, I think what I'm going to do with this video, guys, is just to save us mainly time. All right, is um, I'm just going to skip this video right on ahead to the uh, quest boss. All right, because uh, you, of course, it's 12 battles, nothing but trash mobs. All right, it's really all it is, just a bunch of trash mobs. So um, I'm just gonna skip it all. All right, that's what I'll do. We'll skip all the trash mobs, pop straight up to the boss, so we let you know, you get, let you guys know what's going on. All right. So I'll give my squad time to complete this one, and then we will most definitely be moving on to the quest boss. All right. So uh, general quest the squad. I mean, nothing super special about this squad makeup. Just uh, take it for what it is. Any questions, anything like that, post them down below. But um, we're basically just gonna skip ahead to the boss. All right, guys. So uh, stand by for the boss battle. Alright, and here we go guys. So here is the boss of this quest area, Tech Armor Bayorg, alright? So uh, the, the story behind is really interesting. You're running into all of that news throughout the completion of the quest area. Alright, for now, uh, we're just going to get into it, alright? So, um, probably the first time you did this, you may have felt a little hopeless, <laughs> alright? But uh, this boss battle actually isn't too bad, alright? Um... Just as long as you keep high HP mitigate every turn as usual, you um, shouldn't have too much of a problem with it, alright? Um, just so you know the general layout of this battle, um, as soon as the battle begins, as you can see here, um, Tech Armor Bayor has Angel Eye buff on him, alright? Now, um, when you kill him, um, he's basically going to revive his HP back to full and he's going to uh, reapply the Angel Eye buff, okay? Um, that like I said, someone who is doing this may feel like it's hopeless, but in all actuality, um, it's not a hopeless battle at all, alright? Um, there is a limit to how many times he can do that, and that limit is three times, alright? After he does that three times, that is a wrap. He can no longer use the little angel idol trick and bring himself back up and recover his HP or any of that, alright? So, uh, after you use it three times, that's a wrap. Um, just go ahead and finish him off. Um, as far as what he's capable of... Um, you'll see here, I think he's about to do a pretty powerful attack now. Lightning Storm there, yeah, that's not really powerful, but 
Um, it does buff white and has a high chance to paralyze. Uh, actually, I think a guaranteed chance to paralyze, all right? So, uh, my, my, of course, Sargaville, he has the extra skill that nullifies status ailments, all right? And then we have uh, my boy Krentz with the Impiety Orb, Impiety Orb, whatever you want to call it, equipped. So, uh, not really too concerned about him getting status ailments either. He has protection from it, all right? So, uh, just keep on putting in work on him, guys. And take him down. Now this is the second time we've already used one of his angel item buffs already. Now we're working on the second of his angel item buffs right now. Usually it takes me a couple turns with this squad. Alright. A couple turns max usually. So I'll just keep whittling whittling away. Um, that's his pretty powerful attack right there, guys. Supreme Void. And that's pretty much all he's capable of, right? That's his strongest move, um, I do believe. So, uh, yeah, nothing too much to worry about there. All right. Let's put the pause on just like that. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. Okay. All right, so that's the uh, second angel idol. Down the drain. All right, that supreme uh, void is just a massive AoE attack. Nothing really special. It's just really powerful. So keep your HP high. Mitigate every turn, guys. Very important. Okay. Other than that, let's keep going. I think he just, well, he didn't use his little lightning move on us this time, seemed like. So I'll keep putting the pause on him. Keep on going, baby. Alright, so we're just about to approach that third time. There he goes with his lightning storm again. No worries. He's strong now. He's a strong one now. Okay, what we're gonna do here? Of course he's gonna hit Trident Hard. Let's do this. Hit my boy Sargovel BB. Hit some of that there like that there. And hit it with the Arc BB so we can increase that normal hit count. Put pause on a little bit. So you see he got that attack boost on, so he's hitting hard with that Supreme Void now. You see that attack hurts quite a bit there. Alright, so here's what we're going to do this turn. We're going to use Mr. Krantz. And then we're just going to normal attack on the death again. To take care of that last Angel Idol effect. Alright, alright, alright. Now, here's what we're gonna do. No more Angel Idol. We're gonna go ahead and put the pause on the big time with the big homie Trident. Overdrive. Bam! Let's do it, coach. So, Trident gonna put the big shield on us. And that'll pretty much seal the deal for this guy. Wipe him on out. Big Trident. Hit him with the attack down too, so he ain't gonna be really doing too much damage this time. Alright. Let's go ahead and try to finish him off. <laughs> I love Arch BB. Arch is such a beast. You ain't got them yet. Check out my seventh star or uh, my uh, trial 007 video. But that's pretty much it, guys. All right, um, nothing too special. All right, um, auto battle. You probably won't be successful with that. All right, um, auto battling this guy's gonna take a special type of squad and a little bit of RNG. All right. And otherwise, you'll probably have to take him off auto battle, heal up here and there, and so on and so forth. But uh. Otherwise, not too difficult. All right, so uh, that is the quest boss, Tech Armor Bayork. All right, in Bayork Castle, mission called Indestructible Arms. Not too difficult. All right, 
So uh, that was pretty much it, guys. All right. In the event that you still need to see it, I'll go ahead and show you guys my squad. All right. I don't really too much uh, change them up. I did change that trident though. That's an animal trident there. Um, I had a breaker one before, but it's all about that animal life, baby. You know me. As soon as I pull that animal, that's it. So, uh, yep, show you the rest of my squad, and that'll pretty much wrap this video up, guys, all right? So, uh, if you wish to join the Facebook group, link down below in the description. Otherwise, I thank you all for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And, of course, I will be back at you guys' screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon. Later, guys.